Hello guys, welcome. My name is uh, James Wright. I'm a beef and sheep farmer in West Sussex and I work for Breeder. And if you've not heard of Breeder before, Breeder is the free precision livestock mobile app um, for forward thinking farmers. And we see our mission as uh, to simplify uh, livestock farming, helping you produce and market more profitable animals with, with higher welfare and less waste. And I'm um, joined today by um, Alison Fergus from True Test. Do you want to introduce yourself, Alison? Yes, um, my name is Alison Fergus and I am the Wayne and EID product manager for Data Mars Livestock. Um, I've been in the industry for over 25 years now and counting and I've also been working together in the trade and on farm providing support and training. Um, True Trust is a brand that sits within the Data Mars Livestock Group. Um, the brand of True Trust is recognised all over the world and is the market leader in providing weighing and EID solutions um, to the end user, um, including weigh heads, EID readers and load bars. Our mission is we want to make a measurable difference to all our users, improving productivity and profit, which now more than ever is key in our industry. I completely agree, and, yeah. and that's why we're doing this webinar together, isn't it? Because it is, yeah. Reader, Data Mars, we've got really similar values. So it's, it's great that you're able to join us here today. So oh, uh, what you. we're going to talk about, we're going to be about 40 minutes with some time for questions at the end. So we're going to talk about um, why you should weigh and what we see as the key benefits of weighing. We're going to talk about some of the barriers, which you all know already about why we don't all weigh regularly as farmers. And then we're going to talk about how Breeder and True Test can make it easier how you can weigh a cow in under 20 seconds, how you can use our the breeder crush mode to make better decisions at the crush side. We're gonna delve into some of the analytics and look at some of the decisions you can make. And then at the end, we're gonna talk about how weight data helps you get a premium price when it comes to trading. So um, Gabby uh, was meant to be here manning the chat, but she's not here, so you've got me and uh, Alison. So use the question and answer, use the chat um, panel as well, ask us questions as it comes along. We'll answer them probably as we go along. If we've got lots of them, we'll answer a few, few, few of them at the end. So we're going to kick off with um, why should you weigh? So, um, you know, weighing is uh, the key or a key thing in improving livestock productivity. You know, we should use weights as the bellwether for farm performance. It shows, if it, it shows us if our feeding is right, um, be that an indoor ration or if that new layer is performing well. Um, and but sending livestock through the crush, you know, as I know as a farmer, my cows are out in the field at the moment and getting them back to the crush is difficult. It's time consuming, it's stressful for animal and beast, um, you know, and, and there might be a slight weight dip as well when we're weighing um, after subsequent days. So, you know, that's why we don't weigh regularly. I mean, Alison, would you agree with that? Yes, this is probably one of the most common sort of things you come across going on farm is the challenges is weighing animals is the the animal's nervousness and actually is the handle and equipment up to the job as well so i think you know the key things to get right within you know if you are going to start away is choosing your equipment right as well yeah and um, you know think think about what you want from from a wayhead for instance because i'll speak further on within the presentation about wayheads but it's crucial to get the, the wayhead just for yourself you know to fit yourself and also the handling system as well you know it's key you know are you going to use a more a mobile handling system does that suit your needs are you going to be moving around the farm or do you want to put a, a permanent one so all these factors need to be you know taken into account before you start actually weighing your cattle and once you've got your plan together it will make the experience easier um going forward definitely yeah and, and in an ideal world, we we check our cattle weights as often as we check the weather. But obviously, that's just not possible. I mean, I've been looking well, at the weather, exactly. weather every yeah. couple of hours today. Yeah, so. you know, you know. I'm sorry, and also, you know, with the electronic weigh heads, you know, we've got the the systems built into them now that the weight can be taken accurately within seconds. So you, even if the animal is, is jumping about, you know, it is an advantage going up to the electronic side of things as well. Yes, definitely. So, um, and, and that's what we came, in, and I know this is something that you guys have been doing for a long time at Data Mars, and Breeder, we were thinking last year, how do we get um, farmers to, to see the benefit in weighing and, and to do it easily? So we um, invented something called Crush Mode, um, which we're going to talk about in a minute. And, ju and just to give a real a practical example from one of our farmers who joined Breeder um, last year, um, his name's Gary Spence, he's from Northern Ireland, um, and he was using the app um, to weigh regularly 
and he found that the profit difference between his bottom and, um, sorry, his, his gross margin difference between his top and bottom performing sire on his um, beef dairy calves was 120 pounds. And he just got that from regularly weighing, seeing that there was a significant change in, in growth rate from different sires. And, and that's the sort of analytics that a breeder, we want to help you um, again, and that insight. So that's why we've partnered with um, Data Mars and we've, we've brought this thing together called Crush Mode, which we're going to talk about in a minute. So how do you get started with Breeder? Well, Breeder um, is completely free. Um, I can see someone's asked in the chat how we make our money. And um, we make our money when you uh, trade. So we're gonna talk about training in a bit, but um, we have uh, a trading platform in Breeder and we take a commission on that. But the, but the entering of data, the, the movements, the medicines, the weights, that's all free. And the reason why we give that away from free because at Breeder, we back British livestock farmers. So every one of our farmers who signs up to the app and sinks their BCMS is sent a hat like this. And on the back, it says backed by Breeder because we at Breeder want to back the British beef industry because we know how hard it is, um, you know, we're, many of us who work for Breeder are farmers, we know day in, day out the struggle. So that's why we're giving away this app for free. Um, it, it does your regulatory uh, and farm assurance. Um, it's a mobile app that is Android and iOS. And then as you can see on my screen as well, it's a web app. So we have a, uh, an online um, uh, portal which you can go in and see your data. But day to day, most farmers use our, our Android and iOS um, app. Um, you can use it across multiple farms. So if you've got more than one holding, we can cope with that. If you've got a large team, um, the data um, works across multiple mobiles. So if you've got more than one mobile, um, then, yeah, sorry, more than one team member, it will sync across all their mobiles. And we, a breeder, believe the data is your own. So we don't sell data. Um, we, like I said, make our money when you buy and sell cattle. And we take a commission on that if you do it through the breeder app. But we believe that the data is your own and your data is, is secure in Breeder behind our, our systems. And, and, we, and we believe that you, the farmer, own your own data. So we don't sell data at all. So um, uh, last year, um, we brought out a new feature called Crush Mode, which went live in December um, 2019. Um, we've had uh, hundreds of farmers use it since and provide us with really useful feedback. And we've updated that and iterated on that. And, and we believe it's the easiest way of getting um, uh, data in, in, into your sort of into your phone in the livestock industry. So um, I've got a quick video I want to show you guys uh, about our crush mode. So I'm just going to pull it up here on the screen. Crush mode is the easiest way to get data into your phone in the live. So we're just going to watch this together and then we're going to talk about it a bit more. So it's about a minute long. So you've got crush mode is well. the easiest way to get data into your phone in the livestock industry. So weighing has never been easier. We've got our farm way head here. We've got our mobile phone, Android or iOS. We can go to the Bluetooth menu, select the easy way. And once we've done that, we just open the Breeder app and we click on Bluetooth connections. We select the easy way. It's connected. We launch a way session. And what will happen is as the animal steps in, the way head will look for a steady weight. Once it has that, it will send it straight over to Breeder. And then we're able to then search the ID for the animal. If they had an EID tag, we could scan the EID tag and it would populate the record, or we could search for a visual ID or passport number as well. So that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about the, the crush mode, which is our, um, our easy weighing tool. And um, that farmer you saw there is in um, West Sussex. And um, before he was using Breeder, it used to take three men roughly about a day to weigh 230 animals. But with Breeder and True Test, uh, it now takes them two and a half hours. So you can see why um, the, the data going straight across from your way head to your phone um, really speeds up um, weighing. So we link with various way heads. I'm just going to throw up this image so you can see what we um, link with. So these are all true test, um, true test way heads. So, I mean, Alison, I don't know if there's one in particular you'd recommend. We really like the true test S3. And in fact, one lucky farmer who signed up to the um, webinar today is going to get sent to true test S3 and we're going to um, uh, email them straight after this um, webinar. But what would you recommend? It's, it's, one, it's, it's a difficult one to recommend. As I said previously, you know, everybody's needs are different. So I'd obviously recommend, you know, one to suit the farmer's needs to the individual needs. So in the narrow range, we've got a whole range to meet every farmer's needs from a basic S3 that will take a weight. Um, it's not EID compatible, but you know, it's also, you've got the capability of Bluetooth, so you can get your sessions off to other devices as well. And then you can move up to the um, easy way 7i, um, which is obviously EID compatible. So 
irrespective, you can scan the EID tag either in your cattle or sheep, it transponds across to the wayhead. So there it can then log the weight against that number and then going forward it can display the, the live weight gain since the previous session. So that's showing the animal's performance right there in the yard there and then to get the update. And then if you want all singing and all dancing, a, a true uh, management tool, you would go for the XR5000, which is unlimited sort of data collection uh, reserves. It can have, you can automatically draft on it. You know, it's unlimited what you can do with that. So as I said before, it's always all down to the individual's needs. Um, and that can be discussed by, by either by yourself as a breeder or through me as well. Yeah, and that's a really good point. So if you um, don't already own a Wayhead and you're thinking of buying one, um, get in touch with us. If you've already got a breeder account, um, message us through the chat. Or if you haven't, um, email support at breeder.co um, or james at um, breeder.co and we'll have a chat about what we what wayhead we think works best for you. Um, we're also uh, True Test merchants, so if you want to buy a wayhead, drop us an email and we'll um, hook you up with some, some wayhead and for some way bars. I can see somebody has asked in the chat, do you only work with True Test? Um, at the moment, we do. Uh, we are we we want to work with other wayhead providers and um, some of that stuff's being worked on at the moment. But at the moment, we just work with True Test. Um, we absolutely love the S3 and um, the, we're, we're pushing all of our farmers who don't already have wayheads to buy the S3 because it just works so well with your mobile phone. So, and one lucky farmer is going to win one at the end of this, which is really good. Um, and hey. uh, Alison, someone in the chat has asked, why doesn't the XR5000 and the XRP2 work with iOS? It's something that is in development at the moment. Um, so you can download the app for, for them get the sessions onto mobile phones but all our platforms at the moment for gathering the information so our my hub is just on windows at the moment yeah so um and transfer session download your sessions onto your iphone you you can do that as well yeah so absolutely. um, um at, at, yeah so at the moment um the breeder app uh, only works uh, sorry works on ios and, and android um, but for the XR5000 and the XRP2, we don't link with those on iOS, and that's uh, out of our control, but we really hope that true test um, that might be something that happens in the future. Absolutely. A um, couple other questions. We've had somebody ask, do we have a true test price list? Yes, we do. Um, get in touch with us and we can help you um, uh, sort out the best way ahead and, and get that off to you. Sign up for a breeder account as well, um, and, and yeah, that makes things a lot easier. Um, for us, for you. Um, is breeder only for cattle? Yes, at the moment we only work with cattle, but um, I'm a sheep farmer as well. And um, sheep is definitely something that we're, we're wanting to work on and we'll um, hopefully, you know, later in the year um, have some more news about that. So, so if you're a sheep farmer and you're um, watching now, stay tuned. There's, you know, all the benefits that we have for cattle farmers will one day end up in sheep as well. Um, and then uh, uh, one of our regular farmers, whose name I recognise, um, is asking, uh, does Breeder link to the stick reader or get info from the wayhead after that? And actually, EID is what we're talking about next. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, as we know, in the UK, um, EIDs and cattle are not compulsory. Um, you know, uh, you don't have to put EIDs in cattle. And Breeder works with the visual ID and the regulatory ID um, as well as uh, EID. So, I'm going to show you... Um, uh, what it looks like to um, basically attach a stick reader um, via Bluetooth to, um, to, to breeder. So I've got a screen recording here. So you turn your stick reader on. Um, this is our, an XRS2 and you open up the Bluetooth menu. You click on it, it will appear in other devices and it will connect over. You open up the breeder app and for people who have not seen the breeder app before, um, this is our home screen. It works with Android and iOS. Um, and we can start various different things from here. We can access help, log births, um, we can look at our animal records as well. Um, but we're going to begin a crush mode, which is what this um, webinar is all about. So we're going to click on begin crush mode. Uh, we can open up old sessions. Um, we can, in this screen, if we're drafting, so we have the ability to have groups. We're drafting to multiple groups um, and we're just introducing the ability to draft to locations. So that's fields and pens as well. Um, we can set up a draft here, um, but in this screen, this is the sort of the heart of the crush mode. So um, this is when we could type in um, a weight if you don't already have a wayhead, or if you were connected to a wayhead, you could automatically um, bring the information over. So we've clicked on the Bluetooth icon in the top, um, top uh, right hand corner, which has opened up the connections page, and we've clicked on the XRS2, which then connects it to Breeder. And then we can scan an EID tag. Now for the first time that you'd use Breeder, 
you might not have your EID tags um, stored in, that can be a bit of a fiddle. So what we've done is if you scan a new EID tag, um, it will ask you to search the animal. So we're gonna search uh, for the animal in breeder. We're searching using the visual ID, so we can type in the visual ID 146, and we found the animal, we're gonna update her EID, um, uh, and um, then the animal pops into breeder. So using EID is really that easy. You are, for the first time, you've got to pair it up, but once it's paired, um, you can then, um, every single time the animal comes to crush, you just bleep the EID tag, and then um, you bleep the EID tag, and then the record uh, uh, pops over and, and populates with the new weight. So we've made it really, really easy um, to weigh fast and really streamline the process. Now, not all of our farmers do use EID. In fact, actually, I would say uh, the majority use visual ID. Um, so you don't have to use EID. It's just a really cool feature um, that TrueTest have um, got with their EID sticks. Um, we also link with the XRP2 panel reader as well. So if you have a very significant sized operation, um, you might want to look at the panel reader too, which is, which is a really good product. And I know some of our farmers use that as well. Gabby, are you there now? Can you hear us? I am here. Thank you, James. Apologies, I was having trouble logging on earlier. Uh, and we have some questions as well, if you're ready to answer another yeah, question. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Well, can I upload weights currently held in my MyHub into Breeder? Yeah, so that's a really good point. So although um, we make it really easy for you to get um, data into your phone directly, um, we can also upload um, spreadsheets. So the way that we do that is, um, if I just unminimize this, so you go into, you click here, you click My Livestock on the web app, um, and you click here, Import Weight Data, and then um, we have two automated import functions. Um, and so what we do is we can do Farm Plan or True Test, and we could click choose file and then we would choose our true test file that we've downloaded from my hub or straight off the wayhead and it would automatically um, do all of the finding all the columns and putting that into our breeder records so if you don't um, if you have historic data because i know lots of farmers have got inf information in my hub already or another system we can help you bring that over um, and um, you know use that really easily and so, so so gabby do you think that answers the question Yes, I think that does answer that specific question. I just want to make it clear that there is also, if you have a spreadsheet of, at home and you've been putting your weights in there or any other data, we can also take your spreadsheet and upload that into the breeder system as well. So it's not just specifically from other systems that you can download. You can do that from a spreadsheet or any other information. If you stick it in a spreadsheet, we can put it up in the breeder for you. Yeah, definitely. And um, Gabby and Rachel, who, whose voice you're hearing, Gabby's voice, um, they run our customer support team. So they are here to help you. If you are a breeder farmer, they're on the other end of the phone or the chat function and they write help articles as well, which are really useful. Um, there are um, currently 80 of you here. So carry on asking your questions. If we don't get to them now, um, we'll do a blog and you'll be able to follow them up. And everything's being recorded as well. So you'll be able to come back and watch this later. So carry on asking your questions, guys. It's great to have so many of you here joining us today. And I, and I hope you've got some rain because um, I don't yet. So um, we have got a question here for Alison, James. If we yep. if time to ask, is there a time scale for the XR5000 to be compatible with iOS? Um, I've got time scale at the moment but I can certainly find one out and uh, if you find the customer's details and I can contact contact them direct. Brilliant thank you very much Alison and a question for James as well is there a time scale for breeder to work with sheep? Um, I'm, I'm not going to commit to a time scale I would say <laughs> check back later this year uh, you know I'm a sheep farmer I know how important it is to have data all in one place there is a lot we want to do with cattle and although our app is great and there's over 400 of you using it we want to keep on making it better so we're really focusing on sort of perfecting that product first but do keep on um checking back and uh, let, letting us know so so um now that you've got your sort of data you've linked your your um your wayhead um i'm gonna actually i'm gonna show you how easy it is to do the s3 which is the wayhead that one lucky farmer is winning so um you, with the with the S3, you just turn it on and there's no need to go into your Bluetooth settings. You open the Breeder app, you click on the Bluetooth button up here, you select the S3 and that's it, you're done. So the S3 is, is so easy to use and you just turn it on and then um, it, it, it just appears in your Breeder menu if your Bluetooth's on already and there's no fiddling around in the Bluetooth settings. So it's really great, Alison, to see that technology come in. Um, and, I, and I know when I first used it, I, I was like, wow, this is amazing. So one lucky farmer is going to win one of those, and we're going to email them at the end of this um, session. So um, we're going to talk about what you're seeing on the crush mode. So I've got a um, screenshot here. 
So one of the great things about crush mode is, is that you're, with, with, the, with just having a way head, you don't get the, unless you've got the XR5000, you don't get the analytics behind the weight. So you don't get to see um, like what, when the last time you weighed it was, how old the animal is, you just get a weight. Whereas with Breeder, we've put all of the information next to the weight. So you're able to do, um, uh, make decisions when that animal is standing in the crush. So it's not walked out, you don't have to go back and get it. It's there in the crush. You can see if it's taking a knock in its growth. Um, if you need to draft it off because it's ready for, um, you know, for bullying, for breeding, or it's ready to be sold, you can make that decision um, with, the, with the information that's available to you, you know, right there and then. So what do we have on the screen? Well, on the top, we've got our regulatory information. So this is an animal that I've scanned. I've, I've scanned the EID tag where I found the record. Um, and I've got its visual ID, its UK passport number, um, what group it's in, its location. So that could be a pen or a field. Um, and then I've got its breed code and then other information. So um, this is really interesting. If this was animals in, in withdrawal, because in breeder we've got a medicine cabinet, um, if this animal was in withdrawal, it would appear red, and then we could click on it and it would tell us how many days till it's out of withdrawal, which is really good when we're picking finishing cattle. If I wanted to drill down into the information, get a little bit more information about it, maybe where I bought it from, how much it cost me, if I put that information into breeder, I could click the eye. And then this is the information that gets updated as we wait. So we can see its last weight. I last weighed it 27 days ago. You can see its age. This is the weight. And if this weight was incorrect because, you know, the animal's half in the crush and True Test took a, a stable weight, I could reset this and then True Test would send the next weight to the phone. So that's really easy to do. And I can see its daily live weight gain. It's doing 1.5 kilos a day, which for a cow at grass, I'm sorry, a heifer at grass is not too bad. I was, I was quite happy with that when I weighed it the other day. Um, and this is Delta, so this is the change. So I can see that this animal, when it was housed, was doing another um, 23, uh, sorry, 230 grams a day extra growth. So it's actually slowed down a bit. So if I've got finishing cattle, I can start to see when they're slowing down, and then I can make decisions about when I'm selling those. And we can see the number of days on farm. So we can see that this animal has been on farm for 252 days, which is really important if you're drafting cattle um, finishing, because it might be that they are um, you need the, the farm assurance or um, you know, similar scheme. You want to know how many days it's been on the farm. So we've, um, so, so Alison, what, what else do you think a farmer should be looking at um, in this screen? What might a drop in daily live weight gain tell, tell a farmer? Um, the immediate um, effect that I would think would be a health issue, um, you know, monitoring, you know, especially if the, the rest of the herd are putting weight on and then, you know, you get a couple of animals that start to do a start to drop, you know, it does uh, indicate there should be an, an, issue, an issue with health somewhere within the herd there. So this early detection of the health issue is paramount in enabling you to treat the animal swiftly. So, and then that's reducing further weight loss and, and maybe preventing spread of disease to the rest of the herd as well. Um, so this prompt detection of weight weight loss is you know you can use it as a tool you know to help you uh, keep your reduce your treatment costs and keep an increased production and profit for your enterprise. Also, you know monitoring you know weight gain and weight loss. It can you can you might need to redress your rations, for instance. Are you feeding too much? Are you feeding too little? And you know there's a whole range of sort of um, information you can get from from the crush and detecting your weight gains and losses yeah and and one of the things that i did back over the winter was i noticed that my cattle weren't growing very well even though they were on what i thought was quite a good ration um i called up my feed rep i invited him into my breeder account and he was able to see my weights he came out took a silage sample and then we worked out that although we had a very high me silage it was low in protein so we switched the ration rounds and um, I actually saw my growth rates increase by 700 grams a day over the winter on my steers, which was, I was really happy about. And I was just thinking about how I was using that data. And luckily, my feed rep was really into using breeder as well. So if you've got partners like that on your farm, be it a vet or maybe, um, you know, somebody else who you trust, a trusted advisor, and you want to invite them into your breeder account, you can do that as well. And that's all completely free. And they're able to access your information and give you advice based on that. Gabby, I can see there are quite a lot of questions about medicines, and yes, we do do medicines. I'm going to show you a really quick video um, about how Breeder does medicines and how that works in the crush mode as well. So it's a slight tangent, but lots of you are asking about it, Alison, so I hope that's okay. So, yeah, no, that's right. That's not a problem at all. So in the Breeder app, we've got um, a medicine cabinet, and the medicine cabinet is a brand new feature. We released it last week, um, and so you click on medicines, you can scan a barcode. So here's me scanning out a bottle. 
And then this adds um, the, the, um, the, the pack size, um, the, the, the batch number, the expiry date, and then I need to type in where I bought it from, so I bought this from West Point, I type in the cost. And the cost is important because if I'm typing in the cost, I'm able then to start thinking about what my cost of production might be, and then um, the more data I get into Breeder, then the more information that then I can start looking at reports at, and we'll talk about reports in a minute. So I add this to my medicine cabinet, this is then, this view here is then available to everyone on my system. So everyone who's in my medicine cabinet, my wife, um, who's got my, uh, the Breeder app as well, is on our farm. She can see what has been added to our medicine cabinet. So that if you've got farm workers and they're out in, out in the field and you've got the box in the office, you can scan it and then they can go and dose the animal. Um, and then we can see the history and we can dispose of it and it shows the batch number. And if we've got multiple batches, um, it, it, will, it will show that as well. And then when we're in the crush mode, when we're in the crush mode and there's an animal we see that's got an issue, we can then log that medicine against the animal. So here's me um, setting up the crush mode. So hold on, so I'm, I'm just gonna type in a weight here, so I'm not connected with a weight head, I'm just typing in a weight, which you can do as well if you don't have a weight head yet, you can use Breeder manually. Um, I've selected an animal, I'm gonna press the gold button, I'm gonna go log activity, and here we could log lots of things. Um, if we're doing breeding, we could log um, a PD test. Treatment might be that you're logging a foot trim and you just want to know that the animals had a foot trim. We could log in notes, so for example, a lost tag. I know I, my cows fairly regularly lose tags and Bree is a great way of keeping track of that. But on this case, I'm gonna click vet med and I'm gonna click administer medicine. This then um, shows me what's in my medicine cabinet. So I scanned the bottle already, it's got all the information in there uh, and I can select what I'm giving it. So I'm gonna give it some amoxipen. Um, I can put the dose in and then also it automatically populates the withdrawal dates if that information is available. So um, I can then put in a reason and it's really important that if you've got a team of people on your farm that you make it really clear what kind of reasons you're wanting people to put in. So if they are, um, it might be that you want to start putting out statistics around, you know, um, poor um, eyes or respiratory problems. And if you make sure your team is putting in the same information, every time you can start to build up those analytics and we don't have to do that in the crush mode we can go to an individual animal record and log that or we can log it by the group so if you're doing like a, a mass dosing um you know you can go in and log that all um a, 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 as a group rather than going individually as well so um, i hope for the people who've asked um you know do we do medicines yes is the answer that's all completely free available in the free precision livestock app and um, it's a new feature and so it's something we're really excited about and we know the farmers who the 400 farmers who use Breeder at the moment are finding it really useful. So, Gabby, do I'm we have more, more questions? Yeah, we do, we have a few questions here. So, uh, one of the first ones, is it possible to manage treatment records or BCMS reporting from within Breeder as well as the weights? Yeah, so treatments we just talked about, BCMS is something we're working on at the moment. With Breeder, we pull down from BCMS so we can populate your Breeder account with all of your animals that are in BCMS. Um, we're just working on the ability to send deaths and movements. And if you're in Northern Ireland as well, um, we are working on connecting with APHIS as well. So you will be covered hopefully um, soon. So BCMS will be done hopefully um, quite, quite soon. And if APHIS is a little bit further away, but yes is the answer. Shortly you will be able to do the treatments you can do today. Okay, and our next question is, is Breeder easier to use, better than the DataMars MyHub software? What does Breeder offer that MyHub doesn't? Oh, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward question. No, I think it's a great question, and, and I'll answer, and Alison, maybe you might want to chip in at the end. Um, so uh, MyHub's really good, um, you know, and uh, with Breeder, we have given you a whole farm approach. So you're able to do your trading, your medicine records, you're able to have a large team all in the same place. Um, whereas my hub is very much around weights, whereas Breeder, we wanna work with organizations like, like DataMars and my hub um, to bring all that data into one place. So we um, love uh, what, what DataMars have done and we've sort of just tagged onto what they're already doing and sort of brought everything in together. So uh, would you say that's fair, Alison? Yeah, that's very, that's very fair. Yeah, that's a fair comment, James, definitely, yes. And also my hub's a free bit of kit that comes with all our devices. And, and it's not designed to be in competition with the farm plans and things like that. It's basically just a, a bit of kit to monitor weight gain. That's, yeah. Okay, thank you for that. So we have another question. Is Breeder something that can be used instead of farm works by Shearwell? 
Um, so uh, you could use it in conjunction with what you're doing already, you know, be that farm plan or um, farm works or herd watch, whatever you could use it in conjunction. Um, you know, you don't have to send movements through Breeder. Um, you could just do this to use your weights and use other apps or other things. Um, you can do downloads from Breeder. So if you want to download stuff and upload it into your other system, that's completely fine. The data is yours. You can do with it what you want. Just, you know, um, we just want to give you this tool. Um, you can also use Breeder uh, on its own. You don't have to use another system, um, you, you know, to use Breeder. Like the, the difference between us and MyHub is, is that MyHub won't do movements and medicine. So there's an example of where Breeder has put everything into one place. You can do your movements, your, your medicines and your weights um, all in Breeder shortly. And so, so I hope that answers your question. Um, we're, we're, we're not precious. If you want to use Breeder to record your weights and download them, that's totally fine. We built this for you, British beef farmers, um, to use it how, how you want it. So, um, Gabby, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on now. Is that all right? Okay. Save some more questions for later. I can, I can see there are loads of them, which is great. So if we don't have time to answer your question now, um, we're going to do a blog um, and a lot of the questions we're going to stick in there. So, um, and we'll send that round as well with the recording. So one of the other things we've got in Breeder um, is the ability to predict weights. So because we have so much, and this is an example of where working with Breeder, we, we, we use the anomalized data between all of the farms to help inform the algorithm for the betterment of all farmers. So this is, um, we, we, we have a very clever data scientist called Simon, and he's invented this um, uh, predicted model that models the animal growth. So it, um, it's quite clever. It uses um, data about your farm. It uses data about the breed and the age of the animal. Um, and it, it gives a, a, what we think is a fairly accurate um, idea of predicted growth. So here we have an animal um, uh, that was weighed on the 30th of March at um, 456 kilos. And when I took the screenshot the other day, Breeder was estimating he was around 513 kilos. Now, anecdotally, our farmers tell us that is generally accurate between five and 10 kilos for most animals. Obviously, if an animal has had an accident in between when you weighed it or it's caught a cold or an illness between then, it's not going to be accurate. But as long as the growth is continually happening and nothing major has changed for that animal, this is fairly accurate. And that opens up a lot of doors to be able to have predicted data it opens up a lot of doors and, and I'll show you. So if I, take, if I take the same animal that we were just looking at in the web app, I know we can't because I sold it. All right, I'll we'll take another animal, 151. Um, we can see here um, that this is the predicted model at work. So we have um, bands on this that shows what is a, a top performing animal, what is an average and what is a low performing animal for that breed on my farm. So if you've got multiple breeds, this will be bespoke to that breed on your farm. And you'll be able to see which animals are doing really well, which animals aren't performing so well. And then maybe ones that you need to keep an eye on or ones that if you know where you bought them from and you've got the sire on there that you want to make sure you buy those again because they look like sure winners when it comes to short store cattle. And then this dotted line here shows the predicted growth. And this is a, a straight line, but there is a slight curve on it. This animal has been turned out to grass. Breeder knows from my growth rates last year that that means that the animal starts to slow down a bit. So we don't have the continuous steep trajectory that we had before. Um, so it's slowing down a bit, although I do paddock grace, so my grass performance isn't that bad. Um, but for different farmers, this will look like different things. And, and, the, and the prediction then allows me to think about um, when I can sell this animal. Um, it allows me to commit to forward trades. It allows me to plan bulling weights. Um, and it's a really sort of powerful tool. I mean, Gabby, how, are, how else are, are farmers using sort of the, the predicted, the predicted modelling in your experience? Um, I think farmers are really liking uh, the daily live weight gain. I think that's giving them a lot of um, insight into animals that they're purchasing. And they can also share that information back to uh, farmers that they've bought those animals from. Uh, we're seeing quite a lot of dairy farmers using this for their non-dairy animals as well. So that's quite interesting. Um, and I, I think these these charts are generally quite good to be able to compare to see how your herd's doing against one another as well. Yeah. So what are the best, what are the better performing animals in your herd and obviously which are not doing so well? Yeah, so, um, and, and we have this, this is an individual animal view and that's available in your mobile phone as well. So you have a view um, like this um, in your mobile phone, anywhere on the farm, you can just search the animal record and they pop up 
straight away. So if you're, and it works online and offline. So if you've got no phone signal, as long as the data is already loaded up on your phone, um, which generally it is, um, you're able then to find that animal and then um, look, look at information about it, which is, which is a really useful tool. So that's what the power of sort of farm level statistics can start showing us. It can show us the trends where there are issues um, around specific animals, or um, if I buy a lot of store cattle, we've got reports that show you where you've bought the animals from and, and how the, the weight data is doing. And then also, um, because we um, can take carcass data or sale data, we can start to show you reports around um, kill out and then maybe farms that are better or worse um, to buying from. Alison, in, in your experience, what other things might you know you want to pull out when you've got sort of lots of weight data? Oh, like I said, you've covered quite a bit of uh, stuff there um, on that sort of thing. You know, uh, Sire, I know a lot of the HDAPB at the moment are like um, doing a lot of sort of um, work into getting Sires put onto, um, onto passports just for the exactly the same reason as using the dams as well, because, you know, uh, the, 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 the um, production of the sire progeny and things like that. And, you know, they can just track, you know, watch sires producing the best progeny. And I think that's going to probably be key moving forward as well, as well as, you know, getting dam information as well as getting the sire information. Yeah, I, I agree. And, and we really encourage you. So in Breeder, you can log births and I, I, you can set your sires. And if you are a farmer here and you're going through carving, write that sire down, shout about that sire. And that's really important for two reasons. Um, without the sire on there, you can't look at the data analytics about which sire is better than the other. And there are premiums available for named sires. So if you're a dairy farmer right now, write that sire down. If you're a suckler farmer, write that side down. It is some of the most important information you can capture about your farm. And we completely support what AHDB are doing with Shout About the Sire. And I know that how, how useful it is for farmers to do that. So um, uh, we're gonna talk about, um, the, so, so you as a farmer can use the free breeder app to record information about your farm. You've got your farm in your pocket. You can update movements, deaths, medicines. You can do all the weights, but why is that important? Well, it's important because we've talked about the analytics that you can pull out. But ultimately, we want to help you make more money. And that's making better decisions with the analytics, but also it's trading for a premium or receiving the best price for your finished stock. Um, and uh, a big incentive for weighing is the online training part of Breeder. So we use the data, the feed data, the health data, the breeding data to create a digital profile of your animal. So when you come to sell it, you can be matched with a contract and be paid straight through the Breeder app. So what does that look like? So this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. But if you want to use breeders to its full extent, we really recommend that you look at our trades. So this is the breeder training screen on mobile. This is a screenshot I took last week. We can see here that there are several processors wanting animals to, um, this week and then also next week as well. So you can trade a couple of weeks in advance. You can talk and commit through the app directly. Um, you know, it's a, it's, it's a process that um, you don't have to commit to until the moment those animals, you know, so what you basically do is you say, I'm interested in trading with you. And then um, you would then say, these, they, they would say, great, you're close enough, we'll take some of your animals. You then say, well, these are the animals I'm sending. And it isn't until that point is any data shared. So you are, can, can be completely sure that your data is your own. And then you say, well, I'm gonna share these animals with you. They can see the weights and they say, yeah, great, we'll have those. And then um, that's all done through Breeder. You're paid through Breeder. You can be sure of secure payment. Um, you might also want to use this to join an existing integrated supply chain. So if you're a finisher here and you wanna get hold of good solid supply of um, store cattle um, or calves, we can help you do that. So if you are not already a breeder user, um, sign up, drop us a message. Um, the, one of the, 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 the real uh, bonuses of breeder is the ability to run your own integrated supply chain, um, which we've got farmers doing right now. And if you don't want to talk, um, if you don't want to trade for a breeder, um, but you see some trades that you might want to commit to, you can do that on an ad hoc basis as well. But you can't do that if you don't have data in the system. So if you don't have weight data um, or data about your farm and using Breeder regularly, even if you see a really good price, you can't, you can't get access to it. So that's what I'm saying to you today is, is that it's so easy to weigh uh, with the Breeder app and the cost of the, um, the true test weigh head and some weigh bars, if you don't already have them, is only 900 pounds-ish um, that, that we know, why would you not get started? And there are grants available for this kit as well. Um, so, so, so that's the power sort of the free breeder app and, uh, and true test. So, um, we're, we're just coming to the end of our time. So I'm going to wrap up and we'll do some Q and A. There are loads of questions. So we're going to try and answer as many as we can. 
I just want to leave you with the reminder that Breeda is the free precision livestock app for forward thinking farmers. Um, and our mission is to simplify livestock farming. You can get started today with Breeda for free to sign up. If you sign up and sync your BCMS, we'll send you a hat. Um, if you want to know more in depth about how you can get started with Breeda, we're doing another webinar tomorrow at eight o'clock, which will be a lot more detailed about how you get started and how, what you might want to do in terms of like using it every day. Um, and then Alison, um, where can they buy um, True Test Wayheads? If they want to get weighing, they don't already have bay bars and wayheads, um, or they want to upgrade their equipment, where could they look? They can look um, on our website, which is at www.datamars.co.uk. That lists all our equipment in there. Um, if you need sort of technical, some advice on what to choose, my if you go to that website as well, my contact details are on there. We offer full support on all our equipment. Um, you can buy it from the trade, so you can buy it through Breeder. They, they are trade accounts and other agricultural merchants throughout the country as well. Yeah, definitely. And you can buy it through us. And um, we are really happy to help you uh, talk through the process, what that might look like. So if you are thinking of buying new kit, um, email us. Um, someone's just asked what time is our webinar tomorrow. It's eight o'clock in the evening. Um, you'll be me. Uh, you'll have me again. And we're going to, it'll be a lot more interactive. It'll be a smaller number of people. So we can sort of do a bit more of a chat as well. So um, if you're thinking of signing up to Breeder, go right now, www.breeder.co um, and click on Get Breeder, sign up. Um, Gabby and Rachel will give you a call and talk to you about the next steps. And now we're going to answer some questions. Gabby, you got some questions for us? Okay. So I think this is a really important one, actually, James. Can yeah. processors or can anyone see my data? No. Uh, I think it's important that our, our yeah. farmers know that their data is secure with Breeder and it's not shared with anybody. Your data is yours and yours alone. Yes, definitely. That's, that's made that really, really clear. Breeder, um, your data is protected unless you choose to invite someone into your account, which you can do um, yourself. You can go here, user management and add users. Unless you do that, no one can see your data. And when you trade that animal, that is the point where you're getting paid for that data so it gets shared across. That's only, that's a commitment that you've made and you're getting paid for that. You, we do not sell data. Data is your own and it is secure. It's only when you invite people in as a user into your account can they see it. So I hope that puts your mind at rest. We do have um, a data security policy on our website, which you can read if you um, would like. And it makes it really clear about how we protect your data and make sure that no one else can see it. Okay. All right. Um, so let's see. Um... I can see a question. Um, is the app likely to remain a free app or is it likely to require a subscription in the future? The free, uh, everything that is in the app now um, will, will remain free. We're not going to hook you in and then start charging you money. The ability to do movements, medicines and weights will, will, will always be free. Um, and and that, that is a, a commitment that, 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 you know, that we're really clear about because we're backing British farmers. So everything that is in the app today is free. We're not going to hook you in with a subscription or anything like that. We have another question here, James, about uniform. Is breeder uniform compatible? Do med records go across to uniform? Um, so, uh, no. Um, uniform's great software. Um, we are currently focusing on um, uh, beef um, at the moment and not dairy. Um, we do have some farmers who are using uniform or dairy comp in conjunction with breeder. So the way they do that is they um, take a download of the report. So if you go into the report section, you can download any of this information, so your medicine book, and then you could upload that into Uniform. I, I don't know what Uniform is like on uploading spreadsheets and things, um, but I do know some of our farmers who are using Dairy Comp are doing that as well. So you could use Breeder as your young stock system. I know that Uniform and Dairy Comp aren't great with weights, so you could use um, Breeder to rear your um, young stock. And then um, you could download their animal profile and stick it into Uniform or Dairy Comp. So, so, um, but there's no direct link or anything like that at the moment. And there, and there probably is not likely to be for a while, um, as we've got lots of other stuff we want to do first. Okay, if we've got time for a couple more questions, I'll just read yeah. what one's in, James. Uh, can we log animal treatments, vet and med, in batches of animals? Yes, we can, and I'll show you how you do that. Um, so this is the sort of thing that we talk about at our weekly um, webinars, which are more specifically about, about subjects. So if I show you this, so um, this is the Breeder app, the Breeder mobile app. I've clicked on groups. I'm selecting a group of animals. I click on the pencil button, and then I go select all. Uh, manage uh, log and activity. I could also move them to a field as a, as a group here um, or change their group if I was moving them all to a different group um, or I could log a weight um, for the whole group as well if I was just doing um, birth weights or something. 
Um, I can choose to do log one by one or log for all. So if I'm doing different doses, I could go log one by one, or if I'm logging for them all, which in this case I was, but this is for black leg. Um, and I can select here, medicines, black leg, put in the dosage, five mil, um, no withdrawal on black leg, um, I don't think, or I didn't think when I entered this. And then just a routine. So yeah, you can, and that will update all of the animal records across the group, the same information. And then that updates my medical uh, medicine book and my medicine cabinet. So it will show me on my medicine cabinet that I've used the majority of my black leg. And then you could think, well, if I've got a worker out in the field, I want to check if I need to go to Mole Valley and pick up some more black leg. I could just look on that really easily on my um, from medicine cabinet and see the, the, the inventory is low. So that updates seamlessly when you've got an internet connection as well. And are there, drop down, are there drop down lists of reasons for treatments available at the moment, James? Uh, no, they're not. At the moment you type in a, um, a text field, that's something we're looking at adding, a set list of, um, uh, a set list of um, uh, reasons for treatment. And we're working with AHDB um, on what that list might look like. So um, stay tuned. If anyone's got any thoughts about the medicine cabinet, do drop me an email. It's a brand new feature. Um, drop me an email at james at breeder.co. Um, and we, I'd love to hear your thoughts about how um, we can improve um, the app in general, but also um, the medicine cabinet. So do, do email me um, if you've got some ideas um, or if you've got any questions, do email me. Um, I might pass some of them on to Gabby. There are loads of them, but um, you know, we, we really want to be helpful here. It's great to see so many of you still here. There are still 80 people here um, listening to, to all of these questions, which is absolutely fantastic. If you, if you haven't already got Breeder, it's free www.breeder.co um, and then you can click on the get breeder button sign up now there's you know it's completely free and um, Gabby and Rachel will give you a call who are our customer support team and get you started so um, and if you haven't already got a way ahead as well come talk to us about that if you're thinking of upgrading and then one lucky farmer is going to get an email after this um, saying that they've won an S3 because that's the first thing I'm doing with Alison after this is is, 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 um, is is emailing that farmer which is which is really exciting so Gabby, have you got more questions? I have. Does Breeder upload info from stick readers with all the fields entered onto it? Um, so uh, I, I think that is asking because people use the keypad on um, some of the stick readers. In fact, I have a stick reader here and they use the keypad to type stuff in. Um, the answer to that is no, we don't. Um, we encourage farmers to use the stick reader, partly because not every farmer has ones like this. This is an expensive one. Um, but partly because what we encourage you to do is scan the animal and then put it in on your phone um, or your tablet rather than um, on, on the stick reader. Um, if you're using the XR5000, we do take um, field information. So like if you typed in stuff on the XR5000, we can send that across to, to, to the app. But no, we don't because we encourage you to use this as an EID reader and then to do all the um, logging of information on the app, which is what we built it for. So um, I hope that answers that question. Excellent, thanks. And uh, just again, just to confirm when our next webinar is, please, James. So um, tomorrow evening, um, come join us. Um, you can sign up. Um, if, you, if, you, if you've if you got a breeder account, there'll be a message popping around about it um, a bit later. Um, but it's, uh, in fact, actually, Gabby, could you grab the link and, and chuck it in the chat for people, if you're yeah, able to okay. do that? Um, it's 8 p.m. tomorrow, is that 8, correct? 8 p.m. tomorrow evening with me. Alison um, won't be there, unfortunately, and um, Gabby probably won't be either, but Rachel might join me as well. Um, and that'll be a lot more detailed about how um, you can get started with Breeder and some of the, sort of the tips and tricks. Um, tomorrow we are focusing on breeding. It's breeding season, so um, I've got a few thoughts about how you can use Breeder to manage bullying and better breeding and the siren down reports that I'll be able to show you as well and talk a bit about that. I'm going to show you pictures of my new bull, Tommy, who I'm very proud of. So we'll probably mention Tommy tomorrow. Other questions, Gabby? Or shall I have a look? Have a look. I'm just grabbing the link for everybody. Alison, is there anything else you might want to say? Just, just again, or you can view all our products on our um, website at www.datamiles.co.uk and we are all here for support as well. So it's not just about selling the equipment, it's also give on farm assistance of getting your system set up and um, how you need, you know, and any sort of training on farm training as well is also available. So there's always a help at hand for you, you know, to get started with Wayne as well. Yeah, definitely. And um, well, there's a question here, which is, um, is there a function to input ration costs to work out cost per kilo gained or margin per day? 
Um, so yes, uh, that is something we're working on right now. Um, if you are really interested in that feature, drop me an email. And um, if you're already a Breeder user, james at Breeder.co. And um, there's some stuff we're working on which we can talk to you about. It's not available for everyone yet. Um, so I don't want to commit to it being in the app. But if you are um, thinking of using it or thinking, or if you already record ration information and you want to start working out the cost per day, we can help you do that. We are hoping to have something ready for, for housing specifically about that. Um, so for the autumn for everyone to use. So, um, but do, do drop, um, drop me an email if you want to be involved in sort of developing that. It'd be, it'd be great to get your thoughts on it. And that's the other thing to say, oh, sorry. That's the other thing to say is that, um, you know, Breeder is a small team. There's 450 of you using our app. We want your feedback. If you use our app, um, drop us an email, support at breeder.co. Every week, um, we, we, we meet with the developers, we talk every day, and we always want your feedback. We listen to every single farmer who uses Breeder, and we want to hear what you think about our app. Let us know. We um, uh, have got a growing development team, and we want to be able to work on, 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 on stuff that's really important to you. So um, without you guys, um, we wouldn't be here. So you know, drop us an email. Let us know um, what, 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 what you know, your, your feedback. It really is valuable, isn't it, Gabby? It certainly is. And please do let us know what your experiences are, if there are improvements that can be made, or if there are areas where you feel that, okay, that didn't work as well as I would like, then please do let us know. We're always interested in your feedback and it's very important to us. So I can see a question here. Can you do a tie-in with weight estimation app, e.g. Beefy? Um, we've looked at that sort of stuff. Uh, we think the most accurate way um, to get information about your, your cattle is to weigh them. And we've made the weighing tool, the crush mode, which you see in this webinar, really easy to use. So um, that's what we encourage you to do rather than using sort of something like Beefy. Um, you know, the weigh bars and weigh heads, um, it's, the, it's a tried and tested way of sort of getting um, information um, sort of accurately. So I, that's what I'd really recommend. Um, uh, are you working with abattoirs across the country? Yeah, ge ge geography, um, it will be an issue for, in some weeks. Some weeks we can't make loads uh, marry up. But if you um, are interested in trading for Breeder, um, sign up, get weighing, um, and then Mark, who's our procurement manager, will get in touch with you. Um, if you're interested, drop us an email. Uh, you can email Mark directly, mark at breeder.co, um, and um, he'll talk to you about the logistics of that. Um, you know, so yes, the answer is we work with avatars across the country. Um, there might be some weak, weekly geographical issues that, that might not mean you might take your cattle that week. But, um, but uh, you know, chat to Mark. Um, uh, Alison, we've got a question here for you. Um, uh, oh, sorry. Um, so TrueTest specializes in manufacturing the scales that are designed for outdoor environment um, and my hub software to back up data. Then Breeder provides a custom software for UK farmers that help get the best prices when selling cards. Which is, yeah, it is, isn't yeah. it? That is our partnership. You design the hardware and we build the software. That's it in a nutshell, definitely. Yeah. So um, the person who, 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 who wrote that question, yeah, that's exactly it. And, and Breeder, like I said earlier, Breeder, we are, um, we are, we are, although we absolutely love what True Test are doing, we're not, um, um, you know, we're agnostic in, and, and so are True Test. True Test work with other apps as well. Um, the, we, if, if, you're, if you're sitting in the chat here and you are a farm software provider or you are a wayhead provider, drop us an email, it would be great to talk. And we know that there are, um, there are way systems out there that lots of farmers have that we, that we, we are linking with. And any of the new stuff that True Test produce, um, we'll also link with as well because we think it's a great kit. So, Gabby, we've got another four minutes before we're sort of hitting an hour, which is probably when we're going to call time. Um, it's still great to see so many of you here. Are there any other questions we might want to answer? Are there any in the chat that, um, that are there? We've got one here. So uh, is it possible to manage treatment records or BCMS reporting from within Breeder as well as the weight? So I, I know we've kind of covered this one earlier on, but I think it would be good to answer this question again. Yes, just to reiterate, we launched a new feature last week, which we call Medicine Cabinet, um, which allows you to scan um, bottles uh, and boxes like this. Um, and then that populates your medicine cabinet and then you can dispense from it straight onto animal records. And we've got the reports and the tools you will need to do that. Um, and then uh, with BCMS, we pull from BCMS. We're just working on the ability to send movements and deaths and birth registrations as well. That will be out shortly. Uh, and then, you know, we'll, you'll have a com complete compliance tool. You'll be able to do compliance on the go, out in the field, which we know is really important. We want to save you time. Um, we want to help you making, make weighing easy, but also the administration of the farm, um, you know, the paperwork. So boring. I hate it. 
Um, you know, but we want to make that easy for you so then that you can spend more time farming, more time making the decisions that matter to you. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers your question. Well, another question here. Um, with Medicine uh, Cabinet, are withdrawal periods automatically loaded? Uh, the answer to that, if it's available, we link with a database um, called NOAA, and if it's available in NOAA, it will automatically pull that across. I will always say to you, read the box, read the information, make sure that it's correct. Um, it's, if the information is not in NOAA, it will default to zero. So you need to make sure that you just, you're just double checking that you've got the right withdrawal. But, and the answer is yes, for the vast majority of medicines, it is available, so we do take it across. And finally, is the farm plan linked with Cattle Manager? And if so, can you record animal health treatments in Breeder and then upload them to Cattle Manager? Yes. Yeah, so, so like I said, um, uh, we uh, want to work. We want to work with the systems that work for you, so you can use Breeder standalone and do everything, all the weights, medicines, and all that sort of stuff, straight into Breeder. Um, you could also use Breeder to do your weights and download that, and then put that into Farm Plan. I don't know how Farm Plan take um, spreadsheet files, so I don't want to commit to them being able to do that. But we can definitely do that for you, as in provide you with a download that then you could import into another system. I, I've got one, I've got one more question here, Gabby. I want to answer with, and someone said. With regards to trading, is it just finished cattle or store cattle too? Um, and I would say to at the moment, um, it is finished cattle. However, if you um, have an integrated supply chain, so you're a finisher and you've got five farms you regularly buy from, come chat to us um, because we want to help you um, develop that and to build the data and that will have benefit for your store rearers and your calf rearers as, well, as much as it will have for you. So if that is you, um, email us, um, sign up for an account, get in touch. Um, in terms of like an open marketplace for store cattle, that's definitely something we're looking at. Um, and if you're an integrated one, we can support that already. So um, sign up to Breeder, get weighing. We're, the app um, evolves every two weeks. We do release every two weeks with new features. It's definitely something we're looking at. So um, um, uh, yeah. Uh, and one more question, James, maybe? Yeah, go on then. One more question, Gabby. And guys, this has been recorded. We're going to stick it on our YouTube channel. We're going to email you. Um, and we're going to, um, some of these questions have been really good. We're going to do an FAQ on the website and add some more input into that as well. Um, so the last question here is, I think it's using more than one operative. Can more than one operative be doing treatments in Breeder and link to the main account? Yeah, so that's exactly how it works. So you could have um, five people on your farm and they could all be connected to one holding. So you, would, um, you could update the medicine cabinet or one of your workers could update the medicine cabinet, scan that bottle. And then when they go to administer that medicine, as long as it's already been recorded, they can then select that. So, and then that updates for everyone. So if you've got multiple users, you've got a big farm or something, and you've got multiple staff, or you've got relief staff at the weekend, um, you know, that, that, that's exactly, exactly what you can do, and it updates across. There are two quick things we want to talk about. If you haven't already signed up to Breeder, do so now. Go to www.breeder.co, um, and then click on the Get Breeder button. If you have other questions, you can email us. Um, you can email us at um, support at breeder.co. And then in Breeder, we have these help articles. You can access this um, by clicking this button in the bottom right hand corner and it opens up a chat and you can chat to us as well. You can search for articles. We've got a medicine cabinet guide here. But for, for, for crush mode, everything I've talked about is listed in these help articles. Have a read of them. Um, if you have got an iOS device that explains how to set them up, there are video guides um, that talks about how to do it. Um, unfortunately, you'll hear from me again. There are other people who work from Breeder. I just seem to be <laughs> in lots of videos. Alison, before we end, is there anything else you want to say? I say no thank you to you for uh, helping me to, to host this. And also, if anybody needs any support or any technical um, information on our products as I said before you can get it all through our um, website or you can email me direct at alison.fergus at datamars.com. Brilliant well thanks guys thank you so much for coming um, mm -hmm. we're going to do another one of these um, about a different subject in a couple of months time um, but join us tomorrow for our 8pm um, webinar sign up to a breeder account thank you Alison thank you Gabby for joining us and guys I hope it's raining where you are it's still not raining here so have a great day <laughs> So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye, James. Bye.